Hey guys, it's Tom, and uh, it's been a while, but there's something I kind of wanted to share with you guys. And you know I'm not a big plug-in pusher. I really think you should use what you've got and not worry too much about spending three to 500 bucks every month on whatever the newest AI neural net BS is. Like, just pocket your money, spend it on your family, you know, keep it simple, basically. But <laughs> when something comes out, that really changes the way I work or or does something that I've, I haven't been able to do. Like, it's just not a possibility. I just, I got to share it. So recently I was working on a music doc and there's a lot of sequences where you have the songwriter and a guitar talking about the songwriting process. Normally what I would tell the director is, you know, they're playing guitar and talking at the same time. We can't really adjust those independently because it's all one mic. Um, so what you got is what you got. And, you know, we'll just EQ and compress it and we'll call it good. We're not going to be able to get more clarity or anything. I heard about this website called Lala AI. I, I think that's how you say it. Um, for stem separation. And I uploaded... Uh, one of those mono files to see if it could separate the voice like even just give me a little separation and when I downloaded the result I was completely completely blown away because not only did it separate the voice from the instrument but the voice was so clean and so good it was like they were recorded with no instrument at all there was no artifacts it was totally clean. It even had the reverb tail on their voice. And we ended up using that for sequences where we needed to separate the voice from the instruments. Maybe for mixing purposes or we wanted to do like a little, you know, sound design or some panning. Completely separate the voice from the instrument and have a usable version, and not only that, but route them to the stems they needed to go to. The voice went to the production stem, and the uh, instruments could go to the music stem. We had a production music. So it completely changed my workflow, and it's something that I thought, this is maybe something to do a video about, just because AI, it's gonna change the way we work, and you can either be afraid of it, or you can embrace it and learn how to use it. So instead of listening to me play on this old guitar for any more time, let's just jump on my computer so I can show you guys how it works. We are in Pro Tools now. I'm on a different microphone, so if I sound different, uh, that's why. This recording of me playing guitar and talking was done with an MKH60, just one channel, and now you're listening to me on a Rode NT1. So how do we use this crazy thing that will separate the voice from the music. There's a couple different ways. They have an app or you can use the browser. They both end up uploading the file to a uh, server, which they say uses a neural net to separate things using different algorithms. But let's say you recorded it in Pro Tools or you have something you want to get from Pro Tools to Lala AI. Just go to your clip bin, make sure the thing you want to process is selected and go to reveal and finder. There it is. Now I'm going to go to Chrome. I've already got the website here. I'll have a, a, a referral link. They have a referral program. Like you don't even have to sign up for it. It's just part of your account where if you guys click the link and you go say, yes, I want to sign up for this. It gives me $0, but it gives me more minutes. And you can see I'm down to 465 minutes. So, you know, in 10 or 15 years, I might run out. So if you guys use the referral link, it helps me out in some small way because I get more time. Uh, which I think is actually a pretty good system. So, okay, we've got the file in Finder. Now you get to choose how you split this. And they've got different algorithms, vocal and instrumental, drums, bass, voice and noise. You can look at all this stuff. Each one is like moderately useful, but the vocal and instrumental to me is the best. It's the cleanest one. What does this do? That's cool. Um, man, that's really neat. Okay, so the, you got some settings here. I never messed with these, but they have a de-echo, which is new, uh, and enhanced processing, and then, okay. 
So just for the noise canceling levels, probably for the voice and noise setting, which I tried and it's like, it's okay, but I've got better tools for that. So this is just about vocal and instrumental. Back in Finder, drag the file over. Uh, it's going to take a minute to upload. And now it's generating previews. Oh, wow, that was fast. This will generate previews and you can check it out here, but I want to save the reveal for inside Pro Tools. So just know that in uh, on their, their website and also in the app, you can mute uh, and preview the file so you're not burning up your minutes to just check it out. So I'm going to say process the entire file and it's going to take a while. So I'm going to speed this up. This is done processing. It says the entire file is now split. Uh, I believe it emails you when it's done. So you can go back to Pro Tools and keep working and wait for this to be done. So I'm gonna download each of these to a split folder. Right there, split. Uh, Pro Tools is gonna have to crunch these. And let's see, which one is which? Okay. This is the vocals. And this, this should be the guitar. So. First, I'm going to play the original file. Hey guys, it's Tom, and uh, it's been a while, but there's something I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so both guitar and voice. Now here's just the voice. Hey guys, it's Tom, and uh, it's been a while, but there's something I kind of wanted to share with you guys. And So a tiny, tiny bit of bleed, but it's not too bad. And then here's just a guitar. Actually, this is going to be everything else, <laughs> not just the voice, but it's going to be like uh, room tone and movement and basically all your M&E stuff. So there's still some bleed on this. Like I can hear just like a ghostly voice in the background, but the voice is practically free of that. I really think you should use what you've got and not worry too much about spending three to 500 bucks every month on whatever the newest AI production music, a uh, group of production music tracks that we're using for that. So it completely changed my work. And then let me just combine these so you can hear thick. A uh, group of production music tracks that we're using for that. So it completely changed my workflow and it's something that I thought, this is maybe. So that's my video. Uh, hopefully this has helped you guys. If you have any kind of music doc or something where there's music in the background and you need to separate the voice out, this, uh, this website that I showed you with their app or the browser-based thing where you drag the file, it sounds great. Um, I... Yeah, I can definitely see it being part of my workflow. The pricing seems to be pretty reasonable, um, and it's it's definitely, the quality is better than some of the other stem extractors I've checked. It's way better than the Isotope one. I think it sounds better than the uh, Akon and Young Jeezy digital remix, which I have. Uh, it's good for real-time stuff, but there's some phase stuff that happens um, on playback. And to me, this is just, it's, I don't like saying game changer because it's kind of overused. Like anytime a new plugin comes out, oh, it's a game changer, game changer, game changer, like pfft, graphics flow and everything. No, I'm not gonna do that. But um, it does something that until recently I haven't been able to do. So I think it's worth taking a look at. And I think uh, they, I think there's a demo. You might have to check it out though. But like I said, I'll drop the link. Um, it is a referral link. so. They'll give me more minutes if you guys sign up. I don't really care about that. I've got 450 or 60. I'll never use them. I'll probably, like 10 years from now, I'll probably still have, you know, 300 minutes or whatever. But people who can learn to use these AI tools as they're just in their infancy are the people who will still have a job, you know, as they become more prevalent and more accepted. So I'm trying to, it's kind of a philosophical debate for me, like, do I really want to continue in this career if, you know, basically the Terminators are going to take over and it's all going to be done by machine and AI films and AI, like, I'm kind of on the fence. Like, do I, do I dive into the AI stuff and learn it so that I can protect my career? Or do I just, you know, wave and say, bye-bye, I'm, I'm taking off, I'm going to go 
fix cars or build houses or something like that. So it's something that we'll all have to deal with in our careers uh, if we continue to work because these tools are going to keep getting better. These are just first generations right now and I'm blown away by what they can do. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. If you guys have any tools you like to use, whether they're AI or just something that lets you do a task that until recently was impossible, tell me in the comments what it is because even though I don't push plugins and I'm not you know, posting memes and links and affiliate this and that and you know, give me money, give me money, like I do test stuff when it comes out. I've tested all of the you know, Clarity and DX Revive, like I've tested pretty much everything that's come out. Um, and I really only talk about stuff if it catches my interest and if it's something I would actually recommend to people. So I would recommend Lala AI or however, however you're supposed to say it um, to people who need to split stems from score or split vocals from music. The voice and noise algorithm, I tried it and, it, and was unimpressed with it. I'm sure it will get better, but I just prefer to do that with, you know, the tools I have, Cedar and EQ and editing and stuff. So, yeah, that's the video. Hopefully it's been helpful and I will try to make more time in the future. But work is picking up, thankfully, so I probably won't be as heavy on the videos as I am when work slows down. Um, so until the next video, I'll see you guys then.